uh, for 17 years, some workers, uh, if I should refer them as old workers of the Ghana Ports and Harvest Authority, have been agitating for their severance awards to be paid them. They are yet to receive any results from those who matter. Today, they are here because they have gone full length. They have a court judgment, and yet what is due them has not been paid. My guest this morning, a spokesperson for the ex-workers, Lord Insia Lai, is to my left, and Awudu Suleiman, a member of the ex-workers, is to my extreme uh, left. Good morning and welcome. Mm, Let me start the conversation with you. So this process is to get what is due you after working with the Ghana Port and Harvest Authority is in years old. Was any you don't have it. What is the situation now as we talk? Thank you, uh, Mr. Wright. Mm -hmm. And on behalf of my people, um, we want to thank TV3 very much because this is the second time we are you are engaging us in this uh, particular issue. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank TV3 very much for it. Please, our case has to do with in 2002 when the company, you know back on this uh, project um, process that they are uh, declaring redundancy right 17 years now and after we have received our um your letters uh, uh, i mean uh, emoluments mm -hmm. let's put it that way we detected that they have short changed us so of course we went to court throughout this period of 17 years mm -hmm. we were in court and we have done all that we can indeed Quite recently, that was uh, 12, 12 um, October, October 2018. 2018. After a long struggle, we were able to engage the uh, chief executive officer of the company, Ghana Port and Harbors Authority, and we must confess that the meeting with the CEO was very, very cordial. Very, very cordial, and he even called for uh, the second meeting. And based on that, he said that we should, what he, I'm quoting him verbatim, that he said um, we should uh, um, uh, back off on our demand that we won the cases in court. We want and, to go and settle the case in yes, court. Yes, and so, and so that the company also will uh, get off its adamant position. These are the words of the... Um, and pay you off what is due you. Yes. And that so was that, the agreement at that th meeting. This is it. Mm. So after the 12th October... Uh, 2018, we expect the uh, gentleman to uh, uh, reconvene the second meeting. But as we speak, we have written to him twice. That meeting has not been held. Our lawyer, our lawyers have written to him also, expecting uh, the CEO to call this meeting. But he doesn't want to have anything to do with us. Mm. And uh, probably, this is a document crafted by uh, the uh, 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 the man in charge in 2002, that is Ben Usu Mesa. When, when the whole thing started. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is what he has to write, that G Ghana Port and Harbors Authority doesn't owe any yeah, ex-worker. Ex -worker. So that, that, that is where the whole uh, uh, problem started. Yeah. Until you went to court and had judgment that indeed they owed ex-workers yeah. and that needed to be paid. Yeah. But the difficulty now is getting the money paid. Yes. So if you get into that arena, mm. It must be explained a little. Quickly, the, before I, I get to I would also yes, tell us the, how he as a member the, is surviving. The Chief Justice today, the sitting Chief Justice of the Republic today, mm. she gave us that judgment in 2008, allowing the five uh, persons who led the case in suit to be paid. And mind you, these five persons, they are not the only workers of Ghana Port and Harbors Authority who are in contention with the company. You have about 5,000 of them. We, yes. You understand. But they have been paid since 2008. The sitting Chief Justice, Sofia Ekufu. So, you know, this whole thing, my brother, you, uh, you just ask yourself, what is wrong with us as Ghanaians? Okay, hold on. I would do, you are a member of these 5,000 persons who are struggling to get uh, what is due you, given uh, you. How has it been for you? How difficult uh, is it for you? Uh, I beg you, me, at the speak. Uh, go, go ahead, at, at speak the it. I'll do the At the make the broken. Right. So my broken, uh, you know, you know, 
You, you go you ahead. Know. You tell me. You I'll see this case, the way I know about this case, eh? I will start about the parliament. Peter Lajeteta who carry this case, go for the parliament. We were first leader, he the call him Daniel Mensa, mm. who carry the matter, go for the parliament. Thursday, we will carry the matter, go for the parliament. The parliament say, true, we get through. So then we settle the case. He tell our, our leader, say, Daniel Mensa, parliament tell us, say, make it go Monday, then make it come back. We come house, with their house, uh, Saturday, uh, Wednesday, and uh, Thursday, Wednesday, Saturday, evening, Daniel Mensa, he passed away. People, the boys that are guiding, he did the middle for the people, where he and the people that converse, like somebody push him, where he go forward, where he pass away. Pass away, he died. So a lot of your workers are, 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 are being affected by what is happening. Your people uh, are affected by what is happening. Seriously. Some of them are, are you suggesting some of them are losing their lives because of that? I have planted people, some people crash, mm. some people die, some people they think, they think, they think, ah, they think it will turn sickness or you will die. Planted people pass away. Because uh, this company too, you know, be now where people start to work for the company. Come in Kuruma come where you go take the company for Nigeria, Bani. You bring them for Ghana. You don't call them Bani. People there inside where they work. All old people, you know, be now. So we do Bani where we come, we come for Ghana cargo handle. Have to Ghana cargo handle, we come for Gapua. Huh? We do work for this company. So we go court. We go Supreme Court two times. Appeal Court two times. Financial High Court one. Tam High Court one. But still, we know the this city. is where we are. Lord, what do we do now? Uh, we have uh, hit a block. You're waiting for that second meeting. Yeah. What do we do now? Right. And, and, and you see, I wish the president is uh, watching uh, TV3 by now. Not that anybody will report to him. Mm. But listen. Quickly. This is uh, the final summation on the case by then uh, Chief Justice Georgina Theodora Wood. And this is what she has to say. And I want Ghanaians to listen carefully because we are a kind of human beings who are so, I don't, I don't know how to describe us. She said, regrettably, the appellants who have been treated so unfairly by the respondent authority live here without any redress and their plight rather worsened. Please, this is the, uh, the, the, the chief justice ruling of uh, uh, Ghana, uh, 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 the, the Republic of Ghana. If you are a chief justice Let's and you are expected to dispense justice to your people and you see that we have been treated so unfairly by the respondent authority, which, what do which, you which do? Is Gapoha. Gapoha. Okay. Uh, Lord, what do we do now? What is the next action? Uh, the next action, <laughs> maybe I will say it, and I'm not afraid to say that, maybe I may lose my life at uh, the Ministry of Transport. And I want the minister to mm. prepare for us because we are coming. And I'm sure by now our people in Takradi mm. are watching. Though there's no time because we need to explain this issue in, in, in details. Okay. Because, because you see, the Chief Justice of the so, Republic today. So your, your, what you are saying is that your mm -hmm. next action is to picket at the Transport Ministry to get them to listen to you? Is, is that your next line of action? Yes, because, you see, uh, my brother, I beg you, Mrs. Akufu, eh, uh, that is the sitting Chief Justice, on this same case, so you see uh, uh, the, the prominence of the case that we are handling now. This is what she has to say. Finally, read the, just the, the, uh, the, the, the final the, paragraph the, the, and then yeah. we'll wrap up the conversation. It says, the evidence left no doubt that on the preponderance, this is their own, uh, of the probabilities, the defendants breach the terms of contract of employment of the five plaintiffs. 
Okay. Who led the case in suit? This is where she gave the uh, order to the company to go and pay the five. And then we went to the uh, yes, financial yes. high court uh, for final adjudication, which lasted about three months. And, 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 and Justice B. B. Bright Mensah told them, go and pay them. And yet you have not been paid. We are getting reaction from the transport ministry on how to deal with this. Uh, Lord, I'm grateful for your time. Lord Nsiyan Lai, a spokesperson for ex-workers of the Ghana Ports and Harvest Authority. Audu Suleiman is a member of that group. Uh, uh, Over 5,000 right. of them right. are yet to be paid. Uh, unfortunately, we, we have run out of time. Right. But we'll uh, get uh, this, a reaction this is, from the this, transport ministry. This is very, very important on, in the whole thing. This. this is very, very important in the whole thing. This is a World Bank document. Mm. Though I, I only pick uh, the relevant portions and photocopy them. But I have the entire job appraisal, uh, 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 this thing. For our, all those who worked on that our, project. Our, our uh, okay. transaction is purely a World Bank transaction. The money is to be paid to us. It's not coming from Ghana coffers. It's from the World Bank. All right. I'm grateful. We'll get more on this from the uh, Transport Ministry. Just uh, stay with us.